welcome to Ella's Corner. I have something special to show you today. So let's go so I can show you this beautiful ballerina Mary gave me. So the tune, the Waltz of Flowers, is playing now. Very nice tune. So I got this snow globe, and um, it, this one doesn't light up, but I got this one for my daughter when she was younger. And my son, I got him this one, this snow globe. And this one also has sparkles in, inside, as you can see. And it plays Laura's song from Dr. Zhivago. Because Dr. Zhivago and Laura's song, well, Laura's song from Dr. Zhivago is one of my favorite tunes. And uh, one of them. I have a lot of tunes that I like. And um, so I got this one for my son when he was younger and this one for my daughter when she was younger. Here they are, the pictures. Well, and I uh, would like to play it for you, Laura's song. But uh, due to copyrights, I won't be able to play it. <laughs> but it plays beautifully. It's a slower tune from Dr. Zhivago. Laura's song, that's again. And this one here that was just playing, this one is the song is called The Waltz of Flowers. We have the angel over here playing the harp. Uh, well, I love the tunes of uh, the violin and the harp. And... The best, the best ballerina that I've seen in a globe is this one here. Mary gave it to me for gift. And let me shake it up. Well, actually it has three settings. So I'm going to set it. Now put the light on. I'm going to put the light on. And the sparkles are on. Look how beautiful. See, it has three settings. I put the light on and the sparkles so you can see the beautiful ballerina as she dances. So pretty. She's doing the leg lift over here and down below here we have two swans that form a beautiful heart. So what a beautiful gift that Mary gave me. Because when I was younger, I was training to be training to be a professional ballerina. I was lucky to live next door to my neighbors, whose niece was a professional ballerina. So she used to come every summer for one week, and she used to do the ballet routines three times a day: morning, at noon, and late afternoon. And I was there the whole time. Like every time I saw her outdoors doing the leg lifts and dancing and doing all the different routines that she did, I would run over there and I would sit down Indian style and just watch her because she was so beautiful. She kind of looked like the younger version of, of Grace Kelly and such beautiful. Uh, she, she did such a beautiful a routine every time I was sitting and watching her. And so then when she was leaving, she used to come only for one week in the, in the summer when she was on vacation. And so, um, afterwards she would, before she would leave, she would tell me to, uh, practice all year. And I kept on practicing. And then when I was 10, and this was when we moved over there, I was six years old. And then when I was 10, I went uh, to try out for the professional, the professional tryouts they had in Warsaw at Palace Kulture. And, um, that's the Palace of Culture. And, uh, and, uh, out of, uh, they, they had 10 spots for the young ballerinas, ages 8 to 12. Cut, the 12 years was the cutoff age for tryouts. So I was 10 years old at the time. And there were only 10 spots for the, a little, uh, for the uh, her young ballerinas and two substitute spots. Believe it or not, but there must have been about 200 girls. And I, I don't know how I did it. But I got in, uh, in one of the 10 spots. 
But then my, uh, but then what happened? My mom wanted to come and join her family here in the states because her mom was born here and they all lived here on this side uh, uh, over here. Her, my mom's side of the family all lived here, and my dad's side lived all in Poland. So after that, my father ended up, um, uh, well, getting fatally injured in a uh, in an accident. So. My mom uh, brought us here, and she <laughs> brought me here. She did. She didn't care about. It. She said, "Well, they'll, they'll, they will have ballet lessons, ballerinas. They have ballerinas there too." And she brought me, and um, and then that was the uh, end of my ballet career. <laughs> but um, but can you imagine the happiness that one of the substitutes, because there were two spots for substitute ballerinas. Can you imagine the, the, the well the happiness that the substitute ballerina uh, got when she when I left and she took my spot? Oh, she must have been the happiest girl. <laughs> so at least I made somebody happy. Well, um, I'm sure I didn't make Magda happy, but I'll be forever thankful for her for for training me. And um, well, I should say it was a privilege to have known her, Magda. Magda, the professional ballerina. She was always traveling all over the world, performing. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this story. And um, and so uh, take care, everyone. And God bless. We have the harp over here again. And a beautiful bird. Oh, so look at this cute little ballerina. And she's standing right next to her mom, who's also a ballerina. And at the top. It says, little girls are sugar and spice and everything nice. How cute is that? And look at the beautiful ballerina shoes. So cute.